Okay, today we are going to discuss method of variation of parameters, method of variation of parameters. This method is also, uh, in the previous lecture, I told you that this method is also used for solving non-homogeneous linear systems or non-homogeneous linear systems with constant coefficients, okay? <clears throat> in the last lecture, we discussed method of uh, undetermined coefficients, and uh, this uh, is another method for solving non homogeneous linear uh, system. This method is better than uh, that method which we discussed in the previous lecture, because uh, method of undetermined coefficients that involve and in the, the particular solution, uh, we assume the particular solution to be an educated guess, which involves some parameters. And then we try to find those parameters by inserting that uh, particular solution into the given differential equations, given the uh, system of linear equation, non-homogeneous. But this method uh, is entirely different from that method. This method works for uh, any kind of uh, right hand side function, non homogeneous function, which appear in the system of uh, linear differential equations. So, this method doesn't involve any kind of educated guess. It works for any kind of functions. Whereas, as compared to the method of undetermined coefficients, uh, in that method, we, we start with a guess with some parameters and that guess is basically motivated by the right hand side or the non homogeneous uh, function of uh, the given system of uh, linear differential equations. So what is this method and what is the idea behind this method? First of all, we know that uh, the system of ODs, the system of non homogeneous or these basically linear, it can be written in this, in this form x dash is equal to a times x plus f of t. Okay, this is our non homogeneous system. I hope you know it. Uh, we discussed it in the previous lecture. Okay. So now in this method, whatever the form of this function f of t, the method doesn't change. We don't have to uh, start with an educated guess uh, in order to find the particular solution. So what is the general solution? The general solution uh, of this system is obviously it is uh, written as x equal to x c plus x t. But XC is a complementary solution and XP is the particular solution. I hope you, you know it, we discussed it many times previously. <clears throat> now, complementary solution is what? Complementary solution is basically uh, where X, where XC is uh, the complementary complementary solution uh, of the associated associated homogeneous homogeneous linear system linear system which is what x dash is equal to a times x okay so this is associated which is associated with this system in fact we obtained that linear homogeneous linear system uh, by putting this writing this, this function equal to zero. So we get homogeneous linear system and we 
try to find its solution by using, by, by finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors, eigenvalues and eigenvectors, we find by finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors uh, of what? Vectors of the matrix A, we uh, can write, in fact, the solution as. How can write, we write this solution? I hope you know it, discussed it previously. So what is Xc? Xc is some constant C1, X1 plus C2, X2, plus so on, plus Cn, Xn. If A is the N cross N matrix, obviously we will have N eigenvalues and N eigenvectors corresponding to those eigenvalues. When we have N eigenvalues and eigen N eigenvectors, we can obviously write the general solution of the associated homogeneous linear system. This is our Xc where x1, x2, xo, xn, where uh, the set x1, x2, so on xn forms a fundamental set of solutions. So this forms a fundamental set of solutions. How do we know that this is a fundamental set of solution? Because it's Ronskian, it's Ronskian should be non-zero. Ronskian <laughs> W should be non-zero, okay? If the Ronskian of uh, this set is non-zero, then we say that this set is a fundamental set of solutions, okay? What is the Ronskian of this set? Ronskian of uh, this set could, is, is basically what? X1 is a vector, is a column vector, okay? We can write it in, in this form, X maybe 1, 1, X2, 1, so on, Xn, 1. And X2 is what? We write X2 column here. X2 is X1, 2, X2, 2, and so on, Xn, 2 and so on, and so on. And last one, Xn, we can write it as uh, 1n, X2n, and so on, Xn, n. So these are the X1, X2, and Xn columns. And what is the Ronskian? Ronskian is the determinant of this matrix, and this matrix should not be zero for all possible values of uh, T belonging to the interval, domain interval, where uh, X, the derivative of X is basically is with respect to T. I hope you, you remember all these things. Uh, I could quickly remind these things to you people. If you have any question, you can ask. <clears throat> Everybody is okay? Okay, now if we call this matrix, a matrix phi, maybe phi of uh, T, which is we define it in, in the similar way as we define the Ronskian of the fundamental set of solutions, X11, X21, so on, Xn1, X12, two, two, X2, 2, so on, X, N, 2, and so on, X, N, 1, no, uh, 1, N. X, 1, N, X, 2, N, so on, X, N, N. If we say that this is the matrix phi, then this matrix is called 
is called fundamental matrix. Fundamental matrix. Now this is different from the fundamental set. Fundamental set contains all the solutions here, x1 to xn. The phi of t is which contains the solution columns uh, and we put them in a form of a matrix. Then this matrix is called fundamental matrix. Now, obviously, because uh, the determinant of this matrix is non-zero, okay? Obviously, obviously, determinant of phi of t is non-zero, okay? Why? Because we have already verified that it's Ronskian. Ronskian is what is the determinant of this matrix. So Ronskian is non-zero. So uh, determinant of this matrix is non-zero. What does this mean? This means that this matrix phi of t is invertible, is invertible matrix. Means it, it's inverse exist. Okay. Remember this, we will use this fact. Now, if we try to write Xc by, uh, we try to write Xc in the form of a matrix where we, we can use this phi matrix in order to write this matrix uh, in terms of phi. Now, if Xc is, or Xc is X1, uh, C1, X1 plus C2, X2 plus so on, plus Cn, Xn, then how can we write it? We can write it obviously in this form, X1, X2, X3, so on, Xn times column vector C1, C2, so on, Cn. Okay, this is basically the dot product of these two vectors. Now, if we write this column vector here, we open it, we can write it in, in this form, x11, x21, so on, xn1, okay? And then x12, x22, so on, xn2, and so on, x1n, x2n, so on, xnn. Okay, so on and so forth. So this matrix into this column vector C1, C2 of the unknown constants. These are unknown constants, or you can say the parameters. So this is Xc. Now further, if we call this vector to be a C vector, which is a vector of unknowns, and what is this matrix? This matrix is phi matrix, which we have assumed earlier. So Xc can be written in this form, phi of t into c. So we can write the fundamental, sorry, general solution of the associated homogeneous linear system in this form. This is what is the complementary, complementary solution solution of the associated homogeneous linear system, okay? Remember this. Now, if you have any question till here, you can ask me. If you have any question, you can ask. Now it's uh, now turn to find the particular solution. Now, how to find the particular solution of a particular solution using method of variation of parameters, okay? Using method of variation <clears throat> of parameters, okay?
xp we have to find it x now we have to find xp okay by looking at xc the idea behind finding particular solution using method of addition of parameters uh, what we do we replace this constant vector constant vector by some kind of unknown functions means we assume that phi of t times u of t okay where u of t is uh, a vector of unknown functions for example we we can take uh, we take we can take it let me use the other board uh, or let let me write it some here okay we assume that the particular solution the, basically the idea behind finding particular solution of the corresponding non homogeneous linear system using method of addition of parameters uh, we assume that the particular solution is phi which is the fundamental matrix times some u vector which is a functions which is a fun which is a vector of unknown functions it means u of t can be uh, written as u1 of t u2 of t and so on u n of t okay we assume it so now let's see what happens if this is the particular solution we assumed it then what we need to find here this phi matrix is known already because this is a fundamental matrix we we know it we need to find here the, the this vector of unknown means we need to find these functions okay so if we assume that this is the solution of the given non homogeneous linear system then this solution must satisfy that non homogeneous linear system okay if this is a solution i repeat if we assume that this is the particular solution of the given non homogeneous linear system then this solution must satisfy uh, that non homogeneous linear system by inserting this solution into a given system uh, we try to find these unknown functions or this unknown vector of functions okay so let us uh, try to insert this solution into the system 1 which is the non homogeneous linear system let me change the board okay let me rewrite the system which is x dash a times x plus f of t this is your system and the solution is xp uh, and it is phi of t times u of t okay we we need to put it here so what we need we we need to take its derivative so x p dash is what phi dash of t derivative of first function second function as it plus first function as it derivative of second function okay this is the product rule of differentiation which we have used here now we need to put these two things here in this solution okay substituting uh okay so x p dash we put the value of x p dash which is x phi dash of t u dash so the u of t as it plus phi of t as it u dash of t because on the left hand side we have x dash and this is x dash equal to a times x a times what is x x is phi of t times u of t plus plus f of t plus f vect of t okay so we have inserted this thing <clears throat> now here phi dash of t is problematic we we need to evaluate it or we need to simplify it we need only uh 
to know we need to find the value of u and uh, so if phi is the fundamental set of solutions if phi is the fundamental set of solutions then uh, then what and phi is a fundamental fundamental matrix and it contains fundamental set of solutions which are basically uh, the solutions of the associated homogeneous linear system okay phi is what in the previous uh, mode i can show you if you would like to phi is what phi is a fundamental matrix it contains solutions solution vectors which are which which forms fundamental set of matrices uh, fundamental set of solutions and that solution is basically a solution of uh, what solution of the associated homogeneous linear system associated homogeneous linear system is what a x dash is equal to a times x if phi satisfies this system then phi dash of t should be equal to a times phi of uh, t okay we just replaced x by phi so if phi is a fundamental matrix and it contains fundamental set of solutions then it must satisfy the associated homogeneous linear system so if we put it here uh, phi in, in instead of x we, we obtain this now using this expression here here phi dash of t is equal to what a times phi of t so this is what a times phi of t we we replace this with this thing and times u of t plus phi of t times u dash of t is equal to a times phi of t times u of t plus f of t okay i hope you get it if you have any question you can ask me now this term is identical to this term so we can cancel them out and what we are left with we obtain this term and this term okay so we obtain phi of t times u dash of t is equal to f of t okay if you obtain this now what we are left to find here we, we need to find u here okay so in order to find u we have to take it on the other side because phi is invertible matrix as i told you earlier if the phi is invertible matrix we can take it on the other side and we obtain u dash u dash of t is equal to phi inverse of t times f of t okay now this is u dash what we need we need u so how can we reverse this derivative on u dash what we have to do we have to take integral so integrating integrating both sides both sides with respect to what is the independent function independent variable is t so we have to take the integral with respect to t on both sides of this thing now what would be the integral on the left hand side the derivative will be eliminated so we obtain u of t is equal to integral of uh, phi inverse of t times f of t okay dt okay so this is your u of t <laughs> what we have to find in the start we have to find u of t so we have over u of t therefore the therefore therefore the uh, particular solution solution is what particular solution is xp and it is what it is phi of t times u of t we assumed that this is a uh, vector of unknown functions now we have the value of these functions 
here, this vector, we can insert the value here, pi of t, integral pi inverse of t times f of t dt, okay? So this is our, uh, this is our xp, okay? Now, whatever the value of f of t here, you need to find the fundamental matrix, means fundamental matrix is what? It contains the fundamental set of vectors, set of solutions. We know this matrix, we, we find the inverse of that matrix, we, we insert the inverse of that matrix here into uh, the, the function vector on the right hand side of the homogeneous linear system, okay? So this method is more generic method, whatever the form of the functions, we don't have to assume uh, an educated guess as a particular solution, whatever the function of uh, or is given on the right hand side of the uh, of the non homogeneous linear system here, whatever the form of a function, we don't need to guess the solution which is motivated by the form of the right hand side functions. So we don't have to do this. Whereas in the method of undetermined coefficients, we have to look at the fun form of the functions, whether they are trigonometric functions, whether they are, whether they are exponential functions, whether they are polynomial functions. So we, we need to uh, guess the particular solution in the method of undetermined coefficients. And in addition, that method doesn't work if, the, if, if this vector contains the function of uh, kind of logarithmic functions or rational functions kind of, whereas this method of variation of parameters it works for any kind of right hand side function, whether they are trigonometric, logarithmic, rational functions, or whatever they. So, this is our uh, particular solution. Therefore, the general solution of the given non homogeneous linear system, general solution will be x, and it is xc plus xp. Now, what is xc? xc is we have written phi of t times c vector plus xp is what? xp is phi of t integral phi of phi inverse of t times f of t dt. So this will be the general solution of the given non-homogeneous linear system by using method of variation of parameters. I hope you get it. If you have any question, you can ask me. If you have any question, look at these things for a few seconds and then you can ask me any question. I'm waiting. So if you don't have any question, let us do an example to understand this uh, method more clearly. Solve the following system by using any appropriate uh, method. So x dash is equal to minus three, one, two, negative four, times x plus uh, vector, it is 3t e to the power minus t. Okay, we are going to solve this example. Now, if someone wants to solve this problem using method of undetermined coefficients, then uh, he or she has to Split this vector into two because it contains two different kind of functions. The first is a polynomial function of degree one, and the second 
Second is exponential function. So this, in order to find the uh, particular solution of this non-homogeneous linear system, you have to split this factor into two. One contains the polynomial and the other contains the exponential function. And then you uh, try to make uh, a guess which contains the unknown parameters and then uh, you try to find the solution, okay? And that is very, I think, the uh, lengthy method as compared to the method of variation of parameters. This method, method of variation of parameter, it doesn't care whatever the functions are, whatever the form of the functions are given in this uh, vector, we don't care. We just have to follow the procedure, okay? What, how to solve it? We, we are going to solve it by using method of variation of parameters. So first, what we do, first we need to find the complementary Solution, okay. <clears throat> Complementary uh, first, you can say first we find uh, the complementary solution x c, okay. Find x c of the uh, associated associated homogeneous uh, linear system. Okay, what is the associated homogeneous linear system? It is s dash is equal to minus three, one, two, negative four times x. Okay, this is uh, the system. And this is your matrix A. How to find its solution? We try to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. <laughs> <clears throat> so I hope you can find these things. Uh, eigenvalues are lambda is equal to negative two, negative five. They are uh, real and distinct, real and distinct eigenvalues. I hope uh, you can do it yourself. And the corresponding eigenvectors are K1, which is one, one and K2. It is one negative two. So if these are the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, so we can write the general solution of uh, this homogeneous linear system as uh, Xc, and it is C1, uh, K1, e this part, negative two T plus C2, one negative two, e this part, minus five T. So this is your complementary solution. And uh, we can write this complementary solution in the form of a fundamental matrix. And how can we write that matrix? Now we need to, we need to find this phi matrix, which is the fundamental matrix. How to write this matrix? We try to write the, the complementary solution in, in the form of uh, this this expression. Okay, what is this thing? No. This can be, what? This can be written uh, in the form X C, we can write it C1 e to the power minus two T e to the power minus two T plus C2. Uh, and one minus two, one minus two e to the power minus five t. So it becomes e to the power minus five t, negative two e to the power minus five t. So <clears throat> this is what, this is your x1 and this is your x2, okay? Now this is your c1, x1, c2, x2. How to write Phi, phi is what you write this, the, the, these vectors in this, in this matrix, minus five T e to the power minus two T and negative two e to the power minus five T, this times C1 and C2, okay? Now this is your phi mm -hmm. matrix, which is the fundamental matrix. And this is your C vector. So your XC, is now what phi of t 
times C. Now what is XP? XP is what? It is nothing but phi of T integral phi inverse of T times F of T dt. You don't need to derive this formula. So once we have derived, you, you can remember it and you can directly use it. Now, in order to find XP using method of addition of parameters, what we need to find, we need to find the inverse of this matrix. You can check that the determinant of this matrix is, determinant of this matrix is what? It should not be equal to zero because it forms a fundamental set of solutions. So it's Ronskian. This is basically the Ronskian of this matrix of the fundamental set of solutions in fact. So it is e to the power minus 2t minus 2 e to the power minus 5t. So you can try finding this thing. It is what? You multiply these two. Negative 2 e to the power negative 2, negative 2, negative 7t. And then negative e to the power negative 7t, which is negative 3 e to the power negative 7t. And this is never 0 for all t belongs to r means for any real number, exponential function is never zero. So our Ronskin is never zero and our phi matrix is invertible, okay? If this is invertible, how to find its uh, uh, inverse, inverse of phi of t? I hope you know how to find the inverse of a two cross two matrix. It is what? It is one over determinant of this matrix times adjoint of uh, this matrix, okay? Adjoint of this thing, adjoint of this thing is what? One over determinant is negative three e to the power negative seven t and adjoint of uh, this matrix is what? What you do, you, you, you replace uh, the values of these two entries, negative two e to the power negative this, or e to the power negative two t, and you replace the sign of these two entries. And here, negative e to the power negative two t. Okay. I hope you know how to find the inverse of two plus two matrix. If this, in this example, we have a two by two system, means we have two differential equations. If we have if you are given three differential equations, three by three system, then you have to find the inverse of a three cross three matrix of functions. And that is a bit lengthy and hectic kind of question. You have to put in a lot of struggle uh, to find the inverse of that matrix. So this is the inverse. Now you can multiply this here uh, inside uh, this expression and uh, what do we obtain here? Uh, here you have seven, uh, whenever seven will go here, it's in the denominator, it will go in the numerator and uh, it will become minus seven plus seven minus five, e raised by, by two t maybe, ah, take it. or yeah, two by three e raised by two t, and ye uh, one by three e raised part. Uh, again, two t or ye one by three e raised part, five t and ye one by three negative e raised part, five t. So this will be your inverse, okay? So phi inverse is now known to us and obviously we can find XP. So XP is what XP is phi of T integral of its inverse. Its inverse is what? Its inverse is uh, two by three e to the power two T and one by three e to the power two t, and one by three e to the power five t, and negative one by three e to the power five t. 
Okay, correct me if, I, if I'm wrong somewhere, where you have to verify these things yourself. Let me check whether I have written correct. Yes, it's correct. You have to insert the value of phi here as well, but I'm not putting uh, the value of phi here because uh, uh, I have to write this method. So uh, at the end, I'll write the, the value of this thing. Now, what is the right inside function is it is three t e to the power negative t, okay, dt. Now you multiply uh, this matrix and uh, vector You multiply these two things, you multiply this with this and plus this with this, okay? So what do we get here? Two by two by three, uh, three, three cancel, three or three cancel, so you get two t e to the power two t plus uh, one by three e to the power two t minus t, you get t, okay? The one entry is this, in the second entry here, you obtain, you multiply these two things and you obtain t e to the power 5t, 3, 3 cancel plus minus uh, 1 over 3 e to the power 4t dt, okay? Now this is a vector and how can you integrate this vector? You, you have to integrate each, each entry of this vector. You have to take an integral inside maybe, or if you, you can say that you have to integrate each entry of this factor. So over x p is what? It is nothing but i of t and uh, integral of uh, 2t e to the power 2t plus one by three e to the power t, okay? You have to integrate it. And then the second term, t e to the power 5t, minus one by three e to the power four t times dt, okay? So this will be your vector. Now, after integrating, you have to apply integration by parts here. This will be directly integrated, integration by parts, directly integrated. After integrating, uh, now I'm going to put this, the value of this thing, phi of t, my phi of t is what? It is uh, two by, Two by three e to the power two t. No, this is inverse value. Phi of t ki value kya hi? Phi of t is nothing but e to the power negative two t, e to the power negative five t, e to the power negative two t, negative two e to the power negative five t. This is your phi times. Uh, the value of these things is what? After integrating, you get t e to the power two t minus one by two e to the power two t plus one by three e to the power t. And the second entry is one over five t e to the power five t, okay? Minus one by 25 e to the power five t minus one by 12 e to the power uh, 40. So this is your uh, solution of this factor. And then now you, you can multiply these two, uh, this matrix with this vector, and you can obtain the solution vector, which is six by five T minus 27 by 50 plus one by four E to the power minus T. This is your first entry. The second entry is three by five T minus 21 by 50 and plus one by two E to the power negative T. So this is your XP. Still it is your XP. Now you have to write the general solution. General solution is uh, the sum of uh, complementary solution and the particular solution which you have here. I hope you can write it. Uh, the general solution of the given non-homogeneous differential equation, system of linear differential equation with constant coefficients. So this is your system, you have to solve it, you have to put in all this effort uh, 
uh, in order to solve, in order to find the solution, general solution of the given non-homogeneous linear system. I hope you got it. If you have any question, you can ask me, you can look at the solution, you can review these things. If you have any question, you can ask it. So you have seen that this method is more generic method than the method of uh, undetermined coefficients, because in that method, we uh, start the solution by, by a guess solution motivated by the right-hand side functions. It depends, how do we guess the particular solution? It depends on the form of uh, the right-hand side functions. And then uh, that solution involves parameters, we insert that solution in the given differential equation. We try to find those unknown constants and, and blah, blah, blah. I hope you know, uh, I explained you in the previous lecture. Now this method is more generic. Uh, in order to find the particular solution, you have to find the fundamental matrix. And then you have to find its inverse. And then by putting in that formula, you can find the particular solution. I hope, I hope, uh, Everything is clear to you. If you have any question, you can ask. Ah, so, koi bhi nahi bol raha hai. Kya asaan tha method ya? Anyone? Kyun mein ahil? Sir, samajh aa gaya. You got everything, Kasim? Yes. Kabir. Yes, sir. Samajh aa gaya. Yes, sir. Uh, Kabir, you have emailed me regarding the complex eigenvalues. It was uh, you, I think. Yes, yes, it was me. I uh, was not able to get to your YouTube channel. Did you get it? No, I didn't get it. No, I didn't get it. So, last lecture, I didn't get it. 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 Last lecture में मैंने complex roots का बताया था, but I I think वो recording में नहीं आया. Recording मैंने क्योंकि बाद में start की थी, I forgot to record the lecture in the start. तो उसमें मैंने बताया था कि complex roots को कैसे कैसे solve उससे कैसे solution हम लिखते हैं if we have complex roots of it means complex eigenvalues of the associated matrix with the uh, linear systems or differential equation. So, uske corresponding gases solution likte hain. Maine last time in lectures mein bataya tha. Shayad aap nahi the to. I don't think. Aap ke notes mein notes, notes mein ye cheeze likhi hoongi eigenvalues wale. I hope hoongi. Lekin agar nahi hai to aap book mein se dekh le. Hongi definitely notes mein hongi, you can read the notes. Agar in case aapko koi problem hota hai, you can read the book. Book mein kafi explain kiya hota hai in chiche. You can see in the book, if you don't understand, you can ask me any question in the next lecture. Sare topics joh humne padhne the is course mein abhi tak joh woh toh humne padh li hai. So next time I'll be available for your queries and questions and concerns and confusions, whatever. तो नेक्स्ट टाइम सुबह आठ बजे नहीं रखेंगे हम मैं ऑफिस आर्स अनाउंस कर दिया करूंगा ठीक है तो उसमें आप लोग आ जाए करें इफ यू फर्स्ट लेट मी स्टॉप द रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ दिस लेक्चर एंड देन विल डिस्कस दिस थिंग्स